Okay, I'm continuing to work my way through the Nano Wadmo entries. This one's called The Descent of Evil by uh, Tova. And it's the it's called First Strike because this is the demo version of it. There are four maps completed. Uh, I'm I'm not entirely certain that this is the music I would have chosen for a Doom title screen, uh, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, it's now it's a replacement for Knee Deep in the Dead, as many uh, Ultimate Doom mods are. And we're going to try it on Ultra Violence and uh, hope that it isn't quite as slaughtery as the last one that I played. Okay, so it looks like. It looks like we're setting the scene here with a, a bunch of our uh, zombie men, former humans, teleporting in. Thanks for that. Where's this music from? I think it's... It sounds like Rise of the Triad. But it isn't. <laughs> oh, do you know what... I, I think that this is one of James Paddock's musics, where it's his impression of one of the Rise of the Triad musics. It's going down the fast way, but slightly altered. Alright. So we had a nice interesting computer room here. I didn't notice the door behind me at first. It's, um... I want to say it's kind of unusual for a Doom map to start you in the centre of something and give you multiple directions. You, you, it happens in Tricks and Traps and uh, maybe a couple of other uh, levels as well, but... Yeah, that's, that's quite an unusual choice and an interesting one. There are places like uh, uh, Downtown, for example, where you can just go anywhere, but uh, even that starts you at one side. A lot of hit scanners on this map, which means uh, I'm going to have to be very careful with cover. Uh, not that careful is really in my veins anyway. Ooh, yes, I knew that was going to happen. That was not going to be a freely handed out bunch of ammunition. Okay, what do we think here? <laughs> Hang on. All oh, right, that, so that was all the uh, that was all the same line. You can prevent confusion there. It looked like three switches, but you can prevent confusion by splitting it up into multiple lines and having the stone texture on the left side, stone texture on the right side, and just the switch in the middle, and it'll still affect the whole sector. I thought that might be a I thought that might be a usable wall between the uh, lamp posts. It's an interesting little uh, tea cut out at the end of the corridor to make it more interesting. You could uh, do with some of that on some of these ones as well, because this is a really long square corridor with uh, just repeated uh, repeated lamps. What you could do with this one is just have different bits of wall jutting out, put the lamps on top of some of those, put a computer in here, just uh, experiment with different things so it doesn't look all the same all the way down if, you, if you're trying to take the player on a very long uh, journey. Another thing, of course, if you need to play, take the player on a long journey, is use a teleport, because uh, I, I've been realising throughout my uh, plays of these that I don't use teleports uh, nearly as much as I, I could. And uh, often, that's why my maps get too big, because I, I keep on thinking I need to loop the player back around to here, so I've got to have something interesting in here, and I've got to, uh, I've got, I've got to, I've got to really fill up this space. Okay then. Oh, you're nice and generous with your health. Oh, there's a. Uh... Oh. All right. Okay, that worked a bit better. Now, I've never seen a more obvious door that isn't a door. Hmm. Can... Am I meant to go across here? No, I can't. So let's see, what else is pullable or switchable or fiddleable with? I'm already seeing things improving as they go on because you started with quite uh, a boxy big room and then uh, adding decorations and then playing with light levels and then. Uh, Having a room with loads of switches and uh, different levels on it. 
Oh, I'm not doing too well here. <laughs> if you try to eat an explosive barrel, uh, that really is the danger of it. It's a public information film for you. Did you have these in America, the public information films that uh, they used to utterly scare the hell out of you with at school? Like, uh, the, like the train safety ones? Where it starts off with your happy character, ours was called Robbie, who has to cross a train line and uh, he doesn't observe the safety protocols and gets t cut into about 12 bits. Hmm. I think you're making the player do a bit too much legwork in a in a big room with with uh, not a lot of features here. So that's the exit, but I've, 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 I feel I've explored hardly any of this. Let's. Uh, did it say it was the exit? <laughs> it is, but uh, I also saw in my peek at the map that. No, no, no. That one. Yes. Oh, that's not nice. Hang on. Oh yeah, the the teleport sector is also harmful, even though it's not in the. Uh... This is a nice secret to get rid of some of your health. Yeah, the the teleport uh, sector is also harmful, but that that's easy to overlook. Uh... Had HQ default uh, playing Ascent on Titan. If you've seen if you've seen his videos, he discovered a harmful sector that's uh, it'd been on the level that had been completed for about two years, and uh, I'd never noticed that this uh, space in front of a switch was harmful for some reason. Must have carried over from uh, when it was uh, when it was copying and pasting it around. Something else. <laughs> I'm just going to use these videos to. <laughs> Describe everything I'd rather be doing just now, uh, but just lack the uh, motivation to do. Um, I, I meant to add to. Uh, I've forgotten its name. Ultimate Doom Builder. A check for harmful floors so that the this the floors that you specify are, should be harmful, and you get a default list of. Uh, lava and F water. No, no, definitely not F water. Don't do that. The lava textures, the mucus textures. You'd provide a list of those, and there'd be default ones for each megawatt, and it would check to see if only those textures were harmful in your map. Just an idea. It's really interesting, by the way, to uh, have such an enormous amount of optional area I in a level. That's, that's not something that I see from uh, early uh, mod makers very much at all. So it's, re it's really nice to have that factor of exploration. Where have I not been? Just looks like a weird gap in the map here. But uh, I, I, I suppose it's not going to be switchable or come down at all. The room is a bit Wolfenstein 3D-ish, of course, because you, you've just got one floor and ceiling height throughout. See, as I, I was listening to the music, uh, I, it just occurred to me that this map layout kind of reminds me of Rise of the Triad, because you've got the two-block-tall one here, and then you've got a one-block-tall room here. And that's that's very much how Rise of the Triad did its rooms. This you couldn't do in, uh, in Rise of the Triad, because it's got different floors in the same room. And I'm not sure what this is about. It says it says there's something beyond it, but uh, I, I I can't find the way to trigger it or open it. 
Okay, so I've got two out of three secrets. I think that's uh, sufficient for me. Maybe? No, uh, that one's secret. Mm, I don't know. Something to come back to later. Oh, a question in the chat about uh, textures and flats. It's because, and I'm very proud that I know this offhand, uh, they're stored differently in memory because uh, textures are stored column by column because that way it's easier to draw them without having to read the data, which is usually uh, in rows for an image. In textures, uh, if you read them column by column, it's a lot faster to, to draw them out because you draw walls as columns, and flats are stored uh, differently because they need to be they need to be drawn. Uh, in this flood fill algorithm that I don't understand. This is an odd little... Uh, is, is this meant to be uh, the the warp that I've come out of? It's in kind of an odd decoration. L love the computers and the walls as always. Uh, gonna have to come back that way to get that. Hmm. Strange little uh, ammo cupboard. What about here? Now that's interesting. You've got a little air vent here. So you, you, you're you kind of protected from the enemies. Now this is going to open up. There we go! But yeah, if you, if you happen to explore the other direction first, then uh, you get rid of some of these, so it's a, a bit less uh, difficult for you. That's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that coming up again? I don't think it is. Alright. Oh, what have I done? Hmm. Alright. Hold on a minute, I'm just answering a message with one hand and uh, playing Doom with the other. Every time I get a message now, I think it's an alert saying, the election is finally over after five years. It can't be too long now. No, we're, ju we're just spoiled just now, because we, ex we expect it to be done now, 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 even though people have to count millions upon millions of votes. And they release them bit by bit. There was one that, you know, the one in 2000 took a month. <laughs> I was uh, showing Penny uh, the Hey Dougie episode about elections, which is honestly one of my favourite programmes, full stop, just now. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love watching it with her. Um, oh, but the, there's an episode where uh, two people uh, want to run the county fair or something, and they say, okay, we'll have to have an election, and everyone goes, <sighs> Let's see, have I, is there, have I missed anything in this uh, crate area? I, I, I feel like I hit a dead end here. But, uh, maybe the dead, uh, that tree's a bit awkward. Aha, uh -huh, okay. You know, crate mazes have a, a bad reputation, and deservedly so, but th this one's, you know, fairly interesting. You've got you've got different heights, different sizes. It's uh, it looks fairly complex. And that was good that uh, you don't have to just backtrack after picking up the red key. You've got this alternative route that opens up instead uh, to keep the route back interesting as well. Now, is there a way over there that I missed? 
because I think I saw at least a pack of shells, and possibly a backpack as well. There we go, that's that's a nice hidden little route. Alright. Okay, let's go back and find that red door. I've forgotten if I've seen one. Oh yeah, over there, okay. No, there was a... There was a sector indicating that I'd seen a secret, but I can't remember seeing it. I'll just go back after this and check. Let's see. Oh, ah! Ah! Stop that! Hmm. Armour through there that I didn't get as well. Let's go on a brief excursion round here. Who's coming out of here? Uh, it's just two swordsmen. So I think to make that trap a bit more effective, you could make the wall lower a bit faster. But I don't. I, again, I don't know if you can do that in Doom uh, if you're doing vanilla mapping. So the wall would have to be less high to begin with, because as it is. You can just grab it and run, and they never have a chance to uh, see you. Except, except I've just noticed you have to go into the building again, and then they can see you there. That's actually, that might be quite sneaky if you release them slowly, so that they surprise you later on. That's actually really good. Forget, forget I said anything. <laughs> I'm just checking the chat again. Yes, it, it is a, a very accurate depiction of an election. Yeah, I, I love this program, Hey Dougie. It, it's genuinely really funny. Both for both for Penny and for me. <laughs> because there, there are things that adults... They sympathise with adults in this program. Wow, that's quite a congregation of... Uh... Oh, wow! Okay! Intestinal fireworks. As uh, we, we had that phrase coined yesterday. Rooms are definitely getting more interesting as this goes on, which which is a fantastic sign. It, mean, it means that uh, you uh, get more confident in mapping and more willing to experiment as you go on. Look, look at all these, this, uh, in <laughs> including the unfortunately wooden ceiling. But uh, you know, we'll we'll, we'll ignore that. Um, but you know, compare this to Map 01, where it was it was. Um, just one texture all the way along the corridor, and now there's experiments with the, the blue computer stuff and the tech wall and the and then the standalone computer. Interesting room shapes as well, and it lets you hide enemies. Like you, you get distracted by the M's over here, and then the lost soul bites you on the back of the head. <laughs> They're patching up a hole. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that is quite reasonable. Not quite sure why they were building an entire medieval castle within the base. <laughs> All right. Wow. Now this is interesting. Look at this! What's this? This would absolutely kill your vis planes! <laughs> Alright, so there's that switch. Oh yeah, okay. We're getting a bit more bold with the traps now! Maybe it's something to do with the, uh... Oh, <laughs> the, tra <laughs> the trap activated, but uh, the monster's missed his cue. Hello! Alright, there we go. It's always the awkward thing about, uh... Monster closets when they... <laughs> when they don't alert because they've been sealed off.
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're, in episode two, when all the hellish architecture, they're they're bringing it over in the in their kind of flat pack trucks, and they're setting up their castles and hell spawn in the middle of the UAC stuff. All right, oh, what's down here? Oh no, I've I've done this. Have I? Hmm. Odd tight little corridor. Yeah, this is this is really episode one -y, and I like episode one. -y. <laughs> That's another thing that Penny does. By the way, if if you do become parents yourselves at some point in the distant future, or you are now, maybe you'll understand that uh, as soon as you have a child, you will never shut up about them ever again. Um, something else she does just now is that she makes. Um, uh, what would these be? Adverbs, maybe? The, the like hungry. I've forgotten the <laughs> I've forgotten the word for an entire uh, mode of speech. Um, but she knows how to say I'm hungry, but she applies that to other needs as well. So if she wants a book read to her, she'll say I'm booky, or bookish, or I'm huggy and kissy. I'm actually, I'm really impressed by how early she learned to form uh, compound words. Like she knows she knows how to construct that something happened in the past or will happen in the future, uh, uh, happened happening, and she'll do it with things that are meant to be irregular verbs as well. But she knows how to make those uh, constructions. It's incredible watching a small human learn an entire language. Okay. Uh, oh wow. Yeah. Meanwhile. Back at the ward, you've got some kind of tech Christmas trees over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but it's something. There's a KTC helipad. for uh, all your toasted chicken ordering needs. I went to KFC once. I've been to KFC once in my life with Penny, because I thought I'd give her a treat, and, and it was thoroughly unimpressive. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why it became famous. Nice little uh, fence here with the with the crate area, and uh, a little bit of irregularity on the ground as well, just next to the wall. Is that signifying a secret or something? No. Oh, helicopter beacons! You might be right. And there's a little uh, ladder. Ah, haha! -ha. It's a little ladder, but it doesn't have wall textures. That's just a little mistake down there. Easy to miss. Yeah, same on that side. I don't have a blue key! Now, has that completely altered the map? On my way back, it's definitely released some more enemies. Oh, wow, okay. It has released some enemies. Uh, more than I expected, honestly. <laughs> Do I not? I still don't have the minigun or anything. Alright. Yeah, I think that's everyone. 250 out of 267, so near enough. 
was an interesting piece of misdirection. Something similar to Warren's almost, where you think you've reached the exit, uh, but uh, then something entirely new opens up. Alright, that's Prevision finished. Uh, Way Revealed is next. Uh, this is a Rise of the Triad music. I'm not taking that. Oh, everything's absolutely fine. Yeah? Oh, here you are. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of waking up noises. You need to be careful to remember to keep out of line of sight of as many of these as possible. Because uh, if everyone fires at once, that'll just be my health drained to zero instantly. Oh, came from here, sorry. This is uh, this is quite a good example of why we don't have we try to avoid symmetrical designs. Just uh, the the first is just because it makes rooms le look less interesting, but uh, the second is that they're more difficult to navigate and it's difficult to remember where you came from or if you're pointing in another direction. This is an interesting sort of. Uh, Pinky pig pen or chicken run. Now I have been stuck with the shotgun for quite a while now. Um, and I'm not going to get a super shotgun ever because this is a uh, ultimate doom. There was that secret in the first map uh, which gave the chain gun which would have uh, completely altered my... Uh, uh, my uh, consumption of bullets, especially. This is a bit awkward to navigate over here. Oh! Not really worth it either. But hang on a minute, that's not aligned. Good indication of a secret. Alright. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame, you're a credit to your sniper unit. Yeah, that's a, that's a good tip in the chat as well, that uh, if you if you put some invisible lines in the, in the fence maze, then it, it helps the player not get stuck uh, when they're going around corners. Yeah, and you know what I'm going to say now, because it's it's usually unwise to use the SW2 textures in a map, because it looks like switches that have already been pressed. And uh, same comment again as before, where you have two switches on the wall that are actually one switch. You can split the lines up and put one switch in the middle. Now, these monsters aren't very effective down there, because I can just stay up here and shoot them. Um, if you wanted to force me down there, you could have put a cacodemon up here or something, or, or something to uh, make it dangerous to stay up here. I'm, I, I will oblige the hint uh, that uh, you, you want me to use the berserk here, although I've got uh, more than sufficient ammunition not to. Oh! Oh! Where have you been following me? Aha! Uh -huh, you opened this up, that was sneaky. Oh, 
Oh. That was pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was not an efficient way to uh, get rid of the imps, and it also shows just how slow uh, weapon changing is in Doom. I, if I just punched them in the face, I would have got rid of them. I didn't need to switch to the shotgun. All right, where are we going? Six a day, okay. Ah! Let's just save here. Did I give a nervous breakdown status update yet? <laughs> We're at the point where the election's nearly over, but for some reason it's it's not over yet. It's just perpetually postponed. Like, um, I think it was Xeno's uh, arrow in the sprinter where it'll never pass the sprinter because it only gets halfway there and then it gets halfway again. It's just going to go on forever. Uh, there was a parent on Twitter who said that uh, her son's, <laughs> for the last two days he's been going around with a map of the US, red and blue crayons and a calculator. <laughs> Just to emulate the people he says he sees on television. Whoa, that was a pretty bad decision by me. <laughs> All oh, right. Yeah, definitely getting more creative with the traps again. Let me take a little pause just to move the window slightly over my screen so I can uh, actually see what's happening in the chat. <sighs> hmm. Should I have been more ambitious in my leap from that window? I just <laughs> I've forgotten everything I just did. Okay, here we go. And that led me to the shotgun, but I've already got uh, maximum shells, so that doesn't uh, do anything. <laughs> Wood texture is a bit of an odd choice for the ceiling here. It's, uh, I don't be blame you for not changing it, because I think maybe 2% of the time people notice what ceiling they're under in the Doom map. I tend to just use the dark one, the, was it Seal 5 one or Seal 4 one, and barely change it whatsoever. A bit stuck as to what to do here. Oh no, I'm not. I just need to drop down onto that platform and walk all the way. <laughs> Oh. Let me just see what this looks like from here. That is really odd, because the path is so obvious from downstairs, but when you get to here, you, you just can't see the path. It's not in your line of sight. Um, what would I suggest to fix that? I mean, you could put, you could put a wall here instead, so that the player's forced to drop onto this first. That's an interesting sort of uh, illusion, because I thought I was meant to jump across to the crates or something. Follow the dead bodies. Oh, this is weird. Not bad, but definitely weird. Look at this. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just pinballing off these walls, because <laughs> it's, it's difficult to to get the exact straight line through them that you need. Let's see, can, is there a straight line through them? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Can I? Is is there a straight line through them, or can I? No, I don't think I don't think I'm avoid doing this weird. Uh, yeah, that's definitely going to get rid of those. I I shouldn't have delayed so long picking my way out. Oh, burned by an imp. Okay, let's go back over here. It is definitely Rise of the Triad architecture. Rise of the Tri Triad uh, squares. We never had diagonal corridors. They were always uh, zigzagged like that. Very generous. Just if you happen to notice that there's a site that hasn't opened. <laughs> Let me just go through here again. <laughs> yeah, I'd... This, this is hilarious, but I would recommend uh, making that gap just a little wider so the player doesn't have to crab walk through. It's like, it's like the walk they did at the start of the monkeys, uh, which nobody in this channel is old enough to remember. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're, we're definitely in Rise of the Dryad just now. It's very distinctive. Oh dear. So those will be after me soon. Oh, okay, so now we're right back at the start again. And they, they, they don't really get the chance to um, antagonize you unless you let them, like I'm doing just now. They, 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 they sort of chase you out the map, but there's plenty of time to... Uh, get out of the way. Okay, any uh, any goodies left behind for me? Looks like that health kit was just about it. So that's where we started, and uh, this is where we're ending. How did I not notice before that this was the Rise of the Triad Intermission music as well? <laughs> Entering see you later elevator. Now look at this. This this is a major step up from uh, most of the other rooms so far. Just the uh, complexity of the architecture. Who needs to shoot every single one of these now that they've played Sigil? Might as well be another uh, Doom element by now. The amount of habits it's formed. Ah, this is interesting. Oh, that is a missing, uh... That's a missing texture. Same here? Yep. Oh, that probably means I can't get up there now, doesn't it? <laughs> Hang on. Don't take, don't take that as a, a, a criticism. I'm deliberately trying to poke holes in the map uh, when I do things like that, and uh, just see if uh, I can helpfully point out some bugs. I'm not, I'm not trying to catch you out of anything. It's like, it's like I, how I explain to people when I, when I do uh, software interviews, which are, are the most excruciating and, and uh, terrifying things in the world. It's more like giving an exam. Um, the idea is not that I'm trying to catch you out. It's that my job is to just throw more and more wrenches at you and see how you uh, see uh, how you can creatively come up with solutions. I tried to make them interesting. Uh, I, I don't like uh, asking people just uh, to vomit quick sort up onto a whiteboard or anything because that's useless. I used to. Ah, there we go. I'm not quite sure uh, what fixed it, but uh, there we go. Now we're in, uh... This is an interesting use of the, uh, the step text, the step flat. 
because I've, ne I've never seen it used outside of a little square to indicate that this is the top of a platform that's moving up or down. A little border as well. It's quite unusual to see uh, changes like that in, in Doom without a corresponding change in the uh, floor height. It looks like it looks like some kind of non-slip map that's on the ground. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the intention, but, uh, but that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I used to I used to invent a lot of uh, interview scenarios uh, for my work. I can tell you them now because they don't use them anymore. One of them was um, uh, Gambler's Fallacy, where the question is that uh, you've got a roulette wheel, or you can think of it as flipping a coin if you like, uh, where you bet money and you get uh, your money back plus your money if it lands on your guess, and you lose your money if it lands on opposite your guess, and our slightly thick mate Barry, who is not a software engineer, thinks that, well, surely, if it's landed on black four times, then quick, bet on red, because it's bound to come up eventually. And vice versa. So write this program to uh, prove Barry wrong and to say that this is a useless thing to do and it's just the same as uh, betting blindly. That was an interesting one. I did one based on uh, the film Cube, uh, where... Uh, if you've seen Cube, it's about this weird, surreal maze. And the idea of my question was to say that, okay, we're, we're, we've got these three rooms, and they've got these numbers on them, and the safe rooms are the ones that don't have any prime numbers, and they don't have any numbers that are factors of a prime number. Or something. No, everything's a factor of a... Uh, never mind. Uh, I can't remember what the rules are, but I'm sure it was very clever. Ah, now that is why you don't use SW2 switches. I thought I'd already pressed that. There's this, um, this noise that's been bothering me for a while. Ah, okay. There we go. What's been perpetually moving? Oh, that is interesting in the chat that, uh, that games do skew averages, and that, that is absolutely true. I know that, uh, in uh, I can't I can't remember what it is, but there there are definitely RPGs where if you if it says you have a seventy five percent chance of something, it's actually something like ninety eight. Because <laughs> it feel it feels like it feels like it should be almost certain by then. Or if you're playing XCOM, where a ninety percent chance of hitting an alien right next to you is actually a two percent <laughs> chance. Yeah, Doom's very interesting in its random numbers because uh, it, it, it has this list of pre-approved random numbers that it just uh, cycles through. Uh, whenever it needs a random number, it'll, it'll choose the next one from that. So as long as there's not much happening in the map, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed that the next number down the list is not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be the same as the last one, it's not going to be close to the last one. It's terrible as a random number generator, but it is absolute genius in terms of uh, being able to record demos, because the same events are going to happen in the same order every time. Uh, if you just keep on picking from this random number table, you're guaranteed to have the same results. Alright, I don't think that ammunition is worth me uh, getting uh, squashed flat as a pancake. So we'll make our exit. We've got the blue key and the red key now. Oh, all right. Well, okay. I needed to go on a diet anyway. But we need the blue key first. Okay. 
So where have I not been? <laughs> the reason Doom's IMG is not horrifically infuriating. Yeah, you might be right. It, it, it does strike me as weird that um, the, the random numbers in Doom are, are so far apart from each other that a Revenant's or a Cacodemon's uh, fireball can do 10 damage or can do 80 damage. But I think it comes uh, from their uh, Dungeons and Dragons background, where, where that's how you calculate damage. It can be wildly variable. The bit of uh, id software lore that I always love telling people about is the way that uh, you know, you couldn't really buy an office worth of personal computers in those days, if you if you weren't a company. So, um, what they did uh, to uh, to have the equipment for making uh, Commander Keen on the side was they used to wait until everybody else had gone home on Friday, and then quick unplug all the computers, load them into a van, scoot down to a beach house, program over the weekend, and then quick get them back on Monday before anyone notices. And uh, that's that's why software engineers now all have a clause in their contract saying you'll only use uh, you'll only use our equipment for directly work-related activities. Which I mean, I really don't because you know I've I've uh, performed a restart of my uh, box at home that does the uh, transport tracker that I run. Uh, from my little Raspberry Pi from the office at least a couple of times, so I've been breaking the law. <laughs> Bleeding step maze. Oh yeah, I understand what it is now. It's, it's meant to be the sort of blood that's dripped out of the pipes. Yeah, I, th I think it could be. Uh, I think it could be made a bit more interesting as well with some height variation and some other, um, just some other. Ugh, uh, different monster encounters and so on. So what did that do? If anything. Yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble ascertaining what that did. And armor might not be a good way to entice a player onto that either, because they could have more than 100% armor uh, by then and feel that they don't uh, want to pick it up. Oh no, that was an SW2. Hmm. Where have I not been here? Was that just for the armor? And I need to go somewhere else? Let's check. So I've been up there. I'm, I'm not going to go back there just yet. Yeah, I kind of ignored the rest of this room, didn't I? Here we go. If I've learned something from watching uh, some people play my own ones, never underestimate a player's ability to completely miss a big door on the wall. Yeah, I was definitely I was definitely struggling for uh, things to do there, but I, I think it's because that um, that switch maze was kind of misleading in that it looked like something was going to happen rather than the armor being the ultimate goal of it. If you look at the map layout, you can see that okay, there are three different routes, three different keys, but uh, yeah, the the um, the optional armor bit really looked like it, it was going somewhere. And I'd get a key at the end. Oh. Not yet.
Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, because these both look the same, it was difficult to intuit uh, just from... Now, what's that done? Oh, that must have uh, lowered the bars in the main room. It was difficult to intuit that they were not the same room. The ceiling's a bit weird here, because uh, the, the bars have raised, but uh, they still have the same uh, light, leaving this weird uh, ghost pattern on the ceiling. quite slow lifts which break up the action a bit. Uh, they could stand to be a bit faster or maybe teleport a monster or two onto them when they're used. This is a nice view though, this um, this platform over the room that we were in previously. Hurry up! Yeah, we're, we're getting into more unusual rooms now, more experimentation. Rooms folding back on themselves. Is that it? Hmm. I refuse to believe that's it. Just checking. <laughs> Now here you're making me go all the way back without a change or a new challenge. Or it's entirely possible that I missed a, a very quick way out of that, but I don't think I did. One of the ways to get over that would just be to have a, a nice platform you could raise up there and you could jump out. Alright, so here's the door with all the uh, keys. What now? Okay. That's the exit. Or is it? <laughs> Classic exit chap. Very well executed. Ah, that was it, okay. And I think... Yeah, that is the end of the ward. Uh, so, so that was a really, really nice entry to the Nano Ward, where once again, the, you could see the experimentation happening as you go on. You had some you had some good ideas, you had some ideas which didn't quite work out, but uh, I, th I, 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 I'd really love to see this continued and completed. And I hope that my playthrough was at all helpful to you. This is a weird sector effect, always. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to start my stream now, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, giving me hints and playing along and uh, keeping my conversation going. And I will see you in, in some other Nanowadmobod very soon.